The brain is the computer that runs our body, and when it's damaged, doctors use incredibly sophisticated tools to fix us. Neurosurgeons at the VA are using 3D cameras to help soldiers coming home with severe back pain or even paralysis. Teresa Woodard went into the operating room to show us how it's done. Six thirty a.m. and busy already. As a matter of fact, patients are already coming in to the hospital. You probably came on the elevator with many of them. Before we can take you into a place you've likely never been, this is not going to be very graceful. We suit up, not what I normally do at six thirty in the morning on a Friday. Taking all the precautions. It's rare for the North Texas VA to allow reporters and cameras inside its surgical suite. All right, we're ready. Nurses prep while many of us are still on our first cups of coffee. Surgeons perform more than 7,500 surgeries a year here. The one we're going to witness is among the first of its kind. As the surgeon scrubs in, notice what's on his eyes. Those are 3D glasses because he's about to perform 3D neurosurgery while we watch. It allows you to visualize it in 3D. Wow. You feel like you're in there. The North Texas VA is the only VA in the nation and the only hospital in Texas using a 3D 4K video microscope called an Orbi. Brian Wolfell, the chief of neurosurgery since 2013, operates on a veteran's lower spine while looking straight ahead at a 55 inch high definition monitor. He gently moves the Orbi and those 3D glasses take this experienced surgeon to places he's never been. The first time you saw the images, the first time mm -hmm. you were able to see how clear it was and crisp and different, what was your first reaction? I mean, it was, it was like a gut reaction just to, to, to feel that and, and to really feel immersed in it. But what matters most, the patient on this operating table and thousands like him, all veterans. We're seeing younger, younger vets coming back from conflict, you know, with, and sometimes with injuries that they've really been um, uh, trying to live through and at some point it reaches a point that they just you know can't take it anymore and and we're you know doing our best to help them. Wolfeld and his team lobbied for this tool believing those who served deserve cutting edge care. If I had my way I'd be back in active duty but this is the way that I can give back and if I can do it one patient at a time that's the way I can uh, deliver it. A commitment they work hard to keep every second every hour every day.